Hey guys, today we're going to install a toolbox on the back of the Dodge. What you'll need is J-hooks. I bought this one used, so they were with the toolbox when I got it, but I'm not sure if they come with it when you buy new. I would think so, but I don't know. Um, this one is going to require a 13 millimeter socket wrench and a tape measure to uh, center the toolbox on the back of the bed. This is just a temporary install. We're wanting to paint the toolbox black with spray bed liner um, so it will match the bed, give it a different look. Um, so we've got it laid in place all the way to the back of the truck. And what we're going to do now is measure from the bed rail to the edge and make sure that we're even on both sides. Definitely need to come to the left a good bit. About another quarter inch to the right. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. We're right there on it. Before you cinch it down, you want to check the back of the truck and lift it up. Make sure that your door is not going to hit the cab of the truck. Next thing we'll do is we'll get our J hooks and feed those through. Just take it and drop it in like this. And get it underneath the lip of the truck. We might have to loosen it a little bit. On the, four, on the last one, you can't fit the lift up under there because the, the lift like stops at the third one. Okay. Uh, all right, then go, go to that one and be fine. So we've one, run into trouble with the, the install. The J hooks, the thread don't go deep enough to secure them in place. So we're gonna have to make some modifications. We'll be back. And we're back. We went to the part store to get some more J hooks because clearly that's not gonna work. I got about 10 washers on that joker. Not a good idea. So. We went to the store and got some more J-hooks, and this is what we had, and this is what we are going to replace them with. The threads go much lower down than over here, so we will be able to use just maybe one or two washers on each one to uh, finish the uh, toolbox install. Buddy, why don't you turn, take that one loose? up underneath. So we'll stay still. All 
probably just do it with my fingers now. think that we're off center so let's check our measurements again right here put it up there right now Woo. all right now let's go to the other side and see how we line up so we need to come this way about an eighth of an inch. So uh, let's just move it just a, a tiny bit. Oh, that's too much. All right, let's check them again. Two and one eighth. Perfect. All right, now we can take these washers. Let's use two on each J hook. AJ has the J hooks. Thanks, Jay. Here's a J hook. J hook from Jay, buddy. Okay. So we're going from the top and bringing the J hooks down through and then just hooking it on the back or on the lip of the bed and then we'll put the new washers uh, and the bolt on top. And then tighten it down with a 13 millimeter. And there you have it. Toolbox install on a 2003 Dodge Ram 2500. Using J hooks. <laughs> Finished product. The toolbox install on the 2003 Dodge Ram 2500 with the long bed. Give you a side view over here. I think it looks good there. I think it helps make the bed not look quite as long as it did without. So uh, I like it. Thanks for watching and have a sinking amazing day. Hey guys, today we're going to be installing a toolbox on the back of the Dodge. What you'll need is a tape measure to center the oh, poop.